Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 22, and this is war number 6. And we're going up against an alliance called Samurai Blood 3. Now, this is a pretty tough alliance for us to be fighting. And we also had a calamity occur during the attack phase. We had someone leave the alliance. They placed their defense, but they left the alliance during attack phase all right so we are short-handed and we're facing a pretty tough uh war so a lot of discussion whether we should just do a boss rush and get some points or try to explore uh went on and so the initial uh strategy that we had had to be revised on the fly all right so my first fight is going to be against this corvus now, you might think that Corvus is an easy defender. You shouldn't have any problem fighting him. But remember what this node is, okay? Uh, this node, when the counters, when you do certain actions, the counters start going down to zero. When they go down to zero, your opponent gets a lot of Furies. You do not want Corvus to have Furies. I want you to watch my health okay when corvus starts hitting me even into my block okay just look at that okay just look at look at the damage that he's doing remember corvus can crit through your block and with all of those furies not a good time okay so you saw that i evaded that next one because i was not trying to take a blocked hit from that all right normally you know i can just kind of take some blocked hits if I don't want to try to evade, uh, which is dangerous in Alliance War and can be very costly. Uh, but as you see here, uh, I did manage to get him down right now. Okay, but look at my health. All right, so that's actually a pretty decent placement. Uh, what you wanna do, and I believe this was the first time that I was fighting Corvus on that node, but what you wanna do is fight him as if he were stun immune. And by that, I mean, you want to hit into his block, build up to his specials, and then evade his specials. You wanna bait out his heavies as much as you can, but you do not wanna take a lot of blocked hits. So intercept, which is of course dangerous, but um, it's more dangerous to let him hit into your block. Okay, so this next fight is against uh, Quake. And she can be annoying sometimes, especially if you give her an opportunity to charge up that heavy. Like that, very annoying that she does that uh, because even that one stack can wreck you. And I hate that. So uh, you see here, I took a chance. All right, I took a chance and uh, we didn't get stunned, but I could have gotten stunned. Okay, and I evaded that one. All right, I got that one uh, on my block a little bit, but I knew she was gonna be dead before it became an issue. So Quake is down. All right, now, remember I told you that uh, we had plans. Well, I was not planning to take this next fight, this mini, it's Sentinel. My Nick Fury isn't good against Sentinel. My Omega Red, who is a little hurt, is not good against Sentinel. So when I was asked to take this mini, you know, the only option I had was Warlock. And so you can see here, I'm taking it seriously and I'm boosting up, even though I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be able to win this war, I don't ever want it to be said that I did not give 110%, okay? So I always try to boost up and take the fight as seriously as always because I hate losing. Uh, I'm one of those types of people that if I feel that someone else is a better option, I'm not gonna just go run and do it just for pride's sake. You know, I would rather whoever is the best person for the job do it. But in this case, my alliance mate, got kind of wrecked. Uh, he had 
uh, some options for Sentinel. Um, I believe he had a Magneto uh, for that Sentinel, but he got wrecked. His Magneto was KO'd. So I came in, we're a team. And so this is what we do. Uh, so I'm going in here and of course, you know, they chose stubborn. And so I'm dealing with this indestructible and I'm like, okay, first thing I need to do is just parry. Okay. And so that's what I'm doing because I want to get that infection up. That's the main thing. And the fastest way to do it is to parry. So now I need to parry, get that indestructible off and then just keep hitting them. And you want to do medium, light, medium to kind of reduce. Now I got caught there. Glad I, I took the uh, invulnerability boost because there's a move that I normally do. For some reason it didn't work in Alliance War, but everywhere else I have no problem with it. Uh, when he fires off his special one, I can evade, do a light attack and then evade the rest. Okay, you can see here, not trying it because apparently in war there are different rules. Okay. So I just said, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do this. Take it slow. Um, make sure I have that infection up and uh, just keep getting them down. Slow play it and uh, try. don't get any fancy ideas like, you know, doing the light attack like I normally would uh, to reduce his analysis charges. So every time you do an action in a row, two in a row, he's going to build analysis charges. And see, he's got complete analysis which I try to avoid, but he's almost dead. But when he has full analysis, um, even if you try to block his specials, you still get uh, the effects of it. Like his special two will apply and incinerate through your block when he has full analysis. And of course he's tankier and all of that, but we got him down. We got him down, no problem. Slow played it and uh, all is good. So now we're into uh, section two. And you can see I'm very happy. Didn't have to take anyone on that first node, but I have to deal with guillotine 2099. If you watched my, um, I think it was my previous war, uh, or maybe it was the war before that, uh, I have mixed times with guillotine depending on the node she's on. Now on this one, I shouldn't have too much of a problem if she's on the mini, I have a little bit more of a problem. Okay, so I'm still boosted up here and I'm doing the same parry, parry to build that up. And then now just going in. Uh, I did the heavy, but of course she's a robot, so she doesn't get the bleed. So, you know, really there's not a whole lot uh, of a reason to do that except by reflex. Uh, but you do want to, if her uh, Digicloak is not on cooldown, like right now it's on cooldown, but then she started smacking me up. Um, you want to fire off a heavy or a special, knock her down, and her Digicloak will go on cooldown. Uh, but that's what you kind of want to do when you're fighting her. I don't like fighting her. Um, it takes a lot of concentration, uh, for me anyway, uh, to fight her. And I, in uh, anywhere else, I've gotten the timing down so that after her special two, I can counter it with a heavy, which is perfect. But in war, I don't try those fancy things because things don't seem to work the same when I'm in war. All right, some stuff. All right, but you notice that she's taking a lot of recall damage because they're running suicide. So that made this much easier. Okay, just had to bait out specials and she kills herself pretty much. All right, so down she went. Now the mini is Hyperion. That's who I was initially assigned to take down with my Nick Fury. But of course, with someone defecting, uh, abandoning, going AWOL, whatever you want to call it, um, I still could have done it, but you can see here, not cleared. When I came back, everything was cleared and Hyperion was down. All right, but now you're gonna see me do something that I don't normally do. You know, I normally will sit here and I'll wait a little bit. You can see we're doing a boss rush. 
Uh, and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to mess with that right side. I really don't. And I think I have better options for the left side. So I'm going to go up that way. All right. So you can see here, I'm boosting up, taking it very seriously. Um, again, don't think we're going to win this war, but I still want to give it, you know, my all. So I'm looking through here and I'm thinking, what do I want to use? Don't want to use the health boosts unless I'm going to heal up. And uh, I know someone was asking about the fact that I don't heal or anything like that. Uh, that's because I got, with this season, got caught flat-footed. Because the previous season, you know, um, during the off-season, we usually tried to build up. But there was a question whether we were going to do, you know, hardcore war or even take a season relaxed. And there wasn't a definite answer. And so I didn't stock up on my health potions. I'll, I'll buy like one a day and just build up over the season so that we have them. So I didn't do that. And so I didn't have health potions to use. So I can revive and just try to use up revives and get the guy down. But as far as healing up, I would have to use units. And this close to Cyber Weekend, I did not want to use any units. I really don't like using units at all um, for Alliance War because I'm not a spender. And so uh, if I use a lot of items, it's not really that sustainable for me. So I try to be very, very careful with my items. But obviously in an emergency, I will do it but I'll try to be as thrifty as possible. All right, so uh, you saw Warlock um, took down that Havoc without too much difficulty. Uh, Warlock is a great counter uh, for Havoc. He gets that armor up, so he doesn't have to worry about the plasma charges. Even if his armor up goes away for whatever reason, it'll come back. So yeah, Warlock is the best option that I had for that Havoc. So Havoc is down. And you see here, this is what I'm talking about. Look at how many I have. That's how many I've been able to accumulate since I started because I got flat uh, caught flat-footed in one of the previous wars and I didn't have any way to heal up. So I've been trying to get my stock back, but of course I'm using them. But usually even one or two uh, health potions should be enough unless it's a really, really tough fight. And uh, you'll notice that I used an invulnerability boost before so that I could kind of boost the health. So wasn't using a health potion, but I had invulnerability boosts, so I used those uh, as much as possible. All right, so we're fighting again uh, someone who has placed with suicides, which does make this easier for me. Um, I, I don't know if there's a better option for this particular fight, but I chose Warlock because Nick Fury or Omega Red were not about to do this fight as well as I believe Warlock could. So Warlock for me was the best option for this. And remember, we're doing a boss rush. So I don't have to get these guys down. You know, I can do as best I can and then, you know, call in for backup and they'll come in and finish it off. I did look around and some of our guys, you know, were in decent shape. But, you know, I believe around this time it was close to uh, when I was about to uh, live stream. And so I'm like, you know what, let me clear this all the way to the boss. And that way, you know, I can take a little break go do some other stuff I need to do, check back, and uh, if they need me for the boss, then I can be there for the boss as well. All right, so you see the nodes here. And again, if you watched me fight uh, Symbiote Supreme before, it's the same thing. No strategy whatsoever. I'm just going in hard. Nick Fury got his other life still, so I'm just going in doing as much damage as I can. 
you know, just just uh, basically going beast mode on him. Okay, uh, those bleeds of Nick Fury, nasty. All right, so you can see here, we're just doing you know full uh, five hit combos. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, now the reason that I'm not firing the special two is because I'm running suicides, and so the special two, yes, it would have done a lot of damage, maybe even killed him. But I'm kind of thinking forward because I see who the boss is and I want to preserve as much of Nick Fury's life. All right. And then that happened. That messed me up from a lot of health to now Nick Fury's um, the real Nick Fury is out. I was trying to get as much health so that if they needed me for the boss here, I would have that extra buffer and boom boom just the buffer was gone okay and so i'm just like i was sitting here stunned for a minute because you know i knew he was dead and i let my guard down and he caught me with a special two didn't even finish he didn't survive to get me with the um full special two not that it would have mattered because the real nick fury had just come out so i'm just like wow all right so as you see here, they got a little bit off the boss. And so I'm going in and, and now at this point, I already know that I'm not going to be able to get Nick, um, get the thing down. So I'm just trying to do as much damage as I can. Now, of course, Nick Fury, since the real Nick Fury is out and I don't have a buffer, um, he is doing a lot more damage than he normally would, but I like to have that buffer and that gives me actually more damage uh that i can do against thing because of course a uh, thing is a stubborn defender and so you're going to be taking blocked hits in order to get rid of the indestructible uh if you don't have any destructible charges and you get destructible charges by parrying he's stun immune so it's a very good chance that you're going to um yeah, you're gonna take a uh, blocked hits. So you see here, I'm already almost gone. And so I'm like, okay, time to fire off the special three. Probably the last one that I'm gonna be able to do, but at least I can do, you know, a good amount of damage. And then my uh, teammates can uh, take him down. So I, at this point, I'm just going for as much damage. You see, I'm doing uh, intercepts and everything. All right, so at this point, I'm kind of stuck, okay? Um, we got a little bit more damage, but now he's, um, okay, he's not indestructible yet because we did have that, but when he did get indestructible because I didn't have any more destructible charges, I didn't have enough health to take any blocked hit, so I couldn't get away, uh, couldn't take the uh, destructible or his indestructible away because you need to take a blocked hit or parry or something and uh, I didn't have enough health left. So um, I did as much as I could, you know, a good amount uh, of damage to him. And now we're gonna try and do uh, what we can with, uh, you know, Omega Red. And Omega Red, if I can get some spores on him and I can counter his heavy with a heavy, uh, I hadn't been doing that, but see like here, uh, I can uh, time it, but Sometimes I'll forget and in the middle of the fight, I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be doing some countering of his heavies with my heavy. Okay. Um, so I can lock those spores on him. All right. But so you'll see here, I didn't do it all the time, but I know I need to do that. All right. So here we go. Uh, I am evading as fast as possible so as to not trigger uh, the indestructible. Okay, but there's the indestructible. I want to get some spores on him. And then uh, once I get the indestructible off of him, I can fire off my special three. Okay, so boom, I caught it. But then he went indestructible again. So I caught that one and fired off my special three instantly because I'm about to go down. Okay, uh, and so I, this was my last chance to fire off a special three. Uh, I was hoping to heal up a little bit um, but that wasn't going to work out too well. 
Okay, there's the indestructible. I don't have the health. At this point, nothing I could do. So I just went ahead and went down. All right, so that's going to do it for my participation in this war. So we'll be back. My alliance mates did manage to uh, get him down nice, smooth, and easy. So let's find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we lost this war. No surprise. Uh, we were down a man and we changed up our strategy. And in the end, we ended up just doing a boss rush. Uh, but we got all of our bosses down, which is the important thing. But check this out. Ooh, look whose name is down there in the bottom left-hand corner. MVP number three. I have to revel in it because that don't happen very often at all. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all... Have a blessed day.